When I was a kid, I had to take piano lessons and I was in junior high band and I hated it. I was a terrible student. I never practiced for all my life. I just told myself I was not someone who was into music. But nowadays, most of my friends are musicians. They're people who get so much joy and passion out of the craft of songwriting, out of playing instruments, out of producing music. So I really just want to learn more and you know, fight against my own fear of music. So today, we're going to meet a few of my friends and see how they create music. Hi, I'm Jess, and this is Crafting Community. So uh, songs are basically made of three constituent parts. We've got melody, harmony, and rhythm. And there are elements of each of them in the others. They sort of all kind of work together to get us to what we, uh, what we hope to accomplish, which is enjoyment of art. Surprise. Um, now, usually, like, usually your, uh, your rhythm would be stuff like drums, um, but, I mean, those are the most obvious rhythm section things. What might not be as obvious as being a rhythmic component of a song would be the bass line, which is kind of like, uh, it's sort of like the, the foundation that sort of holds the the harmony and the melody to the rhythmic components. So it sort of like glues the rhythmic elements of what the drums are doing to what the what the melody might be doing. And it sort of provides the, the groundwork for everything else to kind of work from. So this was uh, just a little harp arpeggio, and it was, I think it was only the one, just the one thing, right, that we, that we started with, mm -hmm. just those six notes, and, uh, and then after popping that in, decided to kind of move it around. So we ended up getting this note goes up. So our last note goes higher. Our second or third note here goes higher as well. And these ones change. And we go back to the, the same as the first, but with this low note in here. So the way that the the way that the harp was moving provided us with a good little bit of harmony added in the bass part which did this together so they've got a nice little little kind of uh, thing going on i can actually we can take a look at what they look like together so you can see that the the bass notes actually kind of live in the middle of where the harp notes are. If I click this little button here, we can turn on and off the harp overlay mm -hmm. against the, the bass. So the bass and the harp kind of end up like living in the same sort of space, but providing different, uh, providing different things, right? Where the, the harp is sort of taking on a nice rhythmic element with the ba ba dee da ba 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 da dee da ba 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 like real consistent rhythmic thing but it's giving us the harmony of what the chords are and then once we have those chords we can add in some kind of more melodic elements so that's where we get the french horn and the clarinet sounds and i think we started with a french horn And 
I wanted just like a simple, simple melody that would kind of garner some interest right off the top, kind of go somewhere and then feel like it ends us at home. So we start with this kind of wistful longing sort of sound up into like maybe more triumphant and then louder and louder into the into the, the final the final note sort of saying hey here we are at home and then the clarinet part was meant to be sort of playing off of what that French horn did so it doesn't come in until after the French horn's been established so the French horn starts and then the clarinet comes in with its own sort of like contrary thing but they ultimately end up meeting in the same place at the end and we can see that they sort of they sort of live in the same kind of range until the very end when they split off and they're separated by an octave there nicely um, but really that's it so for this one like that's that's all that's going on is it's it's just those few parts we've got we've got our our melody from the french horn we've got a little bit of harmony coming from the clarinet um and we've got our rhythm section of the bass doing the little ba dum bum ba dum bum thing the harp doing its boo dip be da ba ba boo ba dee ba 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 and then these other crazy sounds going shaka ta ka pi or whatever and I mean that's you know at its most basic that's that's all you need right if you want to get crazier you could you know we probably could have gone more in depth into some extra textures maybe have some things that are kind of like more swirling spiraling sweeping fancier stuff but at the at the core of it really you only need a couple of a couple of things to be played in time and in tune together and you've got a song i think with songwriting um you know like how do you express yourself with songwriting one of the things when i started for me it was like i had to say something so i was like you know young hard on fire like we're gonna we're gonna change the system um, and that is a great way to start like poetry, uh, wanting to just like say something and you just use music as the vehicle. And that's like a type of music that I love. Um, but I've also known that like people express themselves by wanting to dance and writing like dancing music where the lyrics are spoiler about dancing. Uh, but there's all these ways that you can, there's all these different kinds of songs to write and all these different genres. Um, and there's so, there's similar rules that kind of guide everybody, but there's definitely like paths you can go down. And if you kind of know the box that you want to live in. For me, it was that I used to be like, oh, this is like a line I want to say. Or I could even write like all the lyrics before and then I just fit it to music after. But those things change too. So I don't think you have to be stuck in any one thing. Um, it starts with creating tension. And the most obvious way to create tension is to kind of subvert expectation. So if people are, you know, expecting a melody to go one way and it goes another way, then there's, there's interest there, there's intrigue there, there's like a... A something to it um, if that tension can then be later resolved then it's then you got a good song happening so we don't want all tension all the time because that's uh, you know it's not going anywhere you're not telling a story right ultimately a good song should be a story in a sense uh, in that we have conflict and resolution we have some tension get brought in from you know, maybe it's a dissonant, like harsh sounding chord or, 
some particular something, you know, uh, and then having that tension be resolved. So a lot of a lot of good good songwriting has melodies that will sort of ask a question and then kind of answer the question for themselves. And if that melody can can do that and with as few notes as possible, then you got something that'll get stuck in your head and you're singing it on the bus or in the shower or walking to your car or, you know. I mean, uh, you could compare it to a lot of different kinds of art where it's like multidisciplinary, where some songwriters are just lyrics, some songwriters are just melody, some are great at chording and creating the platform for all those other things to exist on it. But I think what's really fun about a song is that you can start it from the beginning, find chords, find melody, find lyrics, find sound and um it's just like it's one of those things that we were given do you know what i mean where it's like like the olympic sports that i always think are true ones are like running swimming jumping climbing because those are just like gotta have those to hunt in the wild or whatever the fundamentals the fundamentals and i think that like song writing is fundamental because it's it's voices and if it's not voices like drumming is awesome and rhythm is part of everything and uh even in the way that we'll play instruments like this where you're like it makes a difference what your rhythm is you know if you have like a big ballad and it you need it to be you know versus like a nice like you want to move or something like that like rhythm is everything and those are the same chords and they can do so many different things and I, I kind of feel like yeah it's like eat sleep I don't know run swim climb songwrite I think it totally there's a through line I think um, as a songwriter I think w like what we're doing right now is really cool you'd be like we're gonna sit down and write this song but as a songwriter, I definitely uh, wait for lightning to strike. So you kind of just like going about your day and then you're like, oh my God, I got something. And it's either like a melody or it's, uh, if you're so lucky, I think words are the best because I think words are the hardest. Like to be good at lyrics is very, very hard. It's like, because I would say it's part of my profession, like it is really my job. It's like every time I go to the well, there's water. But every time I go to the well, it's not necessarily wine. <laughs> there's something there. I, I get something. So I can just be like, yeah, we're going to write a song right now. And sometimes I would almost say it's like good to force through a couple. If you're in like a stagnant space, just write a couple bad ones. Just finish a few bad bad songs, or like, you're you're like verse, chorus, verse, chorus in, and you're like, that's okay, thank you. But it is nice. Like you can also have like, I've woken up from sleep, and and um, thank goodness we live in the age of voice recording, and just been like, head something and set it, or the melody lives there, and it's like you're just you it really feels like you're capturing it from like the collective consciousness. And then also just stealing things from the collective consciousness because I think a lot of times other songwriters I know are like, I do this all the time. I'll be like, where did I steal that from? Like, that's, that melody is too good. That can't be mine. And like 50-50, sometimes it is. <laughs> but other times, yeah, it's like, no, that's Taylor Swift. You don't need you don't need to know a lot to start songwriting. You really like almost the less you know, the better, because then you're not defining yourself by all these weird rules and like, don't worry about that. You just get a power chord, put your fingers like this, and you're gonna be golden because you can just move that thing anywhere. 
And there's no rules. But if you want some rules, I was thinking today we should write something and what I would call the punk rock T is what we called it when we were young. And it's when you have, I don't know how detailed you want me to make oh, this. Let's do it. Well, it's just that the shape is very common. So it's and any combination of those chords is going to sound good together. They all work. There's no wrong way. So if you're like, oh, I need a... Did I lose my guy? Oh. Hey, buddy. Like, if I need, like, to make the verse different than the chorus, you don't have to do that. Miscon common misconception. Um, but you can just use any of the chords and just switch the order of them, and you'll be great. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but like I think the most successful way to song is like something very focused. Yes. Like a topic that's like very small. Oh, the smaller the box, the easier it is to work in it. Okay. Good. You nailed it. <laughs> yeah. like, you're never like singing about world peace or something, you know? It's like. Yeah. There's definitely like a desire in people's hearts to be like Bob Dylan, Bruce, Springs Br Bruce Springsteen. I like Spruce Springsteen. Spruce actually. Springsteen. That would be a great. <laughs> cover band name uh bob dylan bruce springsteen or like Joni mitchell where you're like writing that end all be all song that encompasses the world's feelings about that's not you're not gonna write that one <laughs> those have been written that's you should find something focused something yeah, yeah. small like a yeah. single topic i think so i'm just like just trying to think of like single topics uh like being a banker and moving to another city <laughs> and being a banker there. We love it. We love it. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Um, yeah, and, I mean, obviously still so much to explore in that. Like, is it, it could be from the perspective of that person, could be from the perspective of somebody else, could be from the perspective of uh, the city that they live in, looking at this person and what they're doing to their city. Like, you can, I mean, again, it's like the smaller the box, the easier, but... I like that. Okay, so we're a uh, banker moving to another city. <laughs> I, I, have an, I have an idea for like a chorus, I think, but what do, you, do you have some ideas of like, because then we'll build the verses. I always like a chorus first because then I know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. It's you know? the basis, like you say, you know, you build around it. And then what's fun is like trying to just like, so you've written some stuff on a page and we've, I've literally not tried it to anything yet. Yeah. And this is the, if anyone is wondering what it's like to like live with a songwriter, there's this disgusting part of like the first couple times they're like, and you have to do that so many times before then you're like, oh, that's like, a melody that I sing confidently that I know the lyrics to. <laughs> so we might we might edit this to sound better once we figure it out. Something like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, let's fix some stuff. So then, yeah, so it's funny because you think it all makes sense and then you go to sing it and you're like, oh, that line, that's not, that's not okay. Some things are the same, I know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it's a very simple melody, but watch, it'll probably change in like a later iteration of this. What? Yeah. Um, yeah, that, I don't know. I don't know where melody, some people are like write melody on pianos and stuff and they're like, you know, and it's like, it is a very good way to do it because that's how you write, I think, interesting ones. But when you're just like, speaking from the heart. Uh, okay, but let's build some verses. What kind of stuff do you got? 
Well, I, uh, I don't know. In no particular order, it doesn't matter. I guess a buy, sell, trade away the hours of your day. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, coming in with fire already. Do you still have time to waste it all away? Um, I don't know, it was just like random stuff. I was like, what does it all add up to in the end? Or do you ever think about your old friends? Yeah, oh, those are so good. So you're rhyming in couplets, yeah, I don't which is to. great, I don't know. which is great. You know what's fun with couplets is sometimes um, the most pleasing rhyme to the ears is A, B, A, B. And then, to, but, but to be finished by a couplet sometimes, very Shakespearean of you. Um, but what's great with couplets is then you can sometimes interchange them with each other to make it A, B, A, B. So like, what's I your... I don't mean to keep rhyming, and that's like the only rhymes I have, actually. I think there's like an instinct to rhyme. It's just an instinct to <laughs> yeah, rhyme, I don't you know, know why. Songs don't have to rhyme, but good ones do. <laughs> <laughs> you have to think about all your old friends. And then instead of going right to the chorus, you could be like, Cause I still think about them. And then you kind of like, you give that one extra line, and that's where you'd want that couplet kind of thing. Oh, I see. Okay. But I actually kind of think your, maybe your couplets were better than mix, splitting them up. You also have like nailed like a very good thing of like, one of the harder things to do is like create consistency in lyrics. And so like that you're like, oh, I like that these two things go together, like buy, sell, trade. And then the next line has add. Like to, to stick to a theme, like you can write songs that are like, free and you just have an expression and poetry is really good that way but if you're writing pop music it's really good to use things like black and white and like day and night and like these like we know all those things and those are so like popular in our own lexicon that it's like yeah and then it makes you feel smart for being like yeah added up all the day trading you know what i mean <laughs> do you have some other stuff before I just start like using it, <laughs> do you, you want to, what else, what are some other uh, like ideas? And they don't all have to rhyme or anything. Yeah. But what are the ones that you're like, mm, this feels like what I want to talk about? Uh, I don't know if any of this is like good. We'll make it good. Well, <laughs> not yet. It's still There's, it's, it, it never comes out like, that's a hit. That first line I said, that's it. I think it always like, I know. We'll if you don't like editing, you're not gonna like songwriting. Or any kind of writing. Or any writing, really a lot of most things in life, <laughs> I would say. Okay, well, I, I don't wanna say I buy one again, but I had buy low, sell high, don't look too hard at what's brewing inside. Ooh, that's great. Okay, that's really good. Put like, so sometimes what I do is when I'm writing stuff, I put like a little star next to things. So either that's gonna be a verse or we'll use that for a bridge. Okay, what do you think about this? I tried to combine them, but then also like took some liberties, so it's. Can I visit you now? Are we done all the east? Did you find yourself? And all the same people. Uh, okay, so then for video, <laughs> so we're at this point now where we've kind of assembled some stuff. There's a thing that you can do at bridges, and why I've always really liked writing bridges is because, remember I was like, we're just going to do these four chords in different orders, and that's going to be the whole song. Screw it. <laughs> Chaos. Uh, bridges you can add is always a great place to just be like, I, I choose you, random chord. Uh, and it could be really fun, so uh, le let's figure out what that would actually end up sounding like. So we've discovered that uh, we have, in fact, maybe stolen some lines. We've combined. Well, you can say it, right? And yeah, it's not. Yeah. You two's streets. No. Wait. 
did the streets know your name? How does the line go? Anyway, it's you two, but then also all the weaker than songs where it's like sidewalks sparkle with broken glass. So we mix them together to have our own line. And that's really how pop music is written. Bicycle train, the hours of your day. What do you get at the end? You still have time to waste it all away. You ever think about your old friend? Cause I still think about them. Does it feel like your new city's the same? I know you got the ocean and the ocean brings the rain. Can I visit you now? Are we done all this? Did you find yourself? And all the same people And all the same streets Just new stories to tell Well I remember you all so well Does it feel like your new city? Does it feel like the new city's the same? I know you got the ocean, the ocean brings the rain. Does it look like a bar with me on lights? You pour yourself a cold one, train into the night, you doing good. Yeah, that's a song. <laughs> we did it. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. I can't believe we wrote a song in like an hour. Obviously, as we spend more time on it, it's going to get even better. But seeing it go from scribbles in my notebook to something that Sean's singing, it feels so like alchemy. It feels like we've created something alive out of thin air. And that's so cool. And I think the music has so many ways for you to express yourself in through rhythms, through lyrics, through melodies. There's so much there for me to learn about and to explore, and I'm super excited about the future. And I think if you have any inkling to make music, you should just go for it. There's such a passionate community out there of people who love telling stories through songs. You could be one of them. So until next time. <laughs>